Welcome to Star Coverage. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Hello, I'm Talia Chalmers. This is Dr. Mandy Compton. I'm here to proudly represent class of 2021. We're here at E. Herald, where I went here for seven years. And this <laughs> lovely lady taught me so many lessons. Well, you taught us an awful lot too, and some of those lessons were brought on by yourself. So. Yes, ma'am. And people like her have taught us how to persevere through this pandemic and taught us how to become better people. So I'm going to pass it on to the editor of the Millington Star, Thomas Ellis Jr. Hi, it's Thomas Ellis Jr. here, and we're in graduation season. We're starting off at Brighton High School. We're here with Ian, our valedictorian for the class of 2021 Brighton High School and Jackson. And gentlemen, congratulations. And how does it feel to make this achievement? It feels great. It feels great. Well, um, 36, uh, uh, that was separated you. And how does it feel to make that achievement? I was super excited because it meant I knew that the work I put in had paid off. Now, 34 ain't, ain't shabby, and it got you into <laughs> the second spot. Talk about reaching that goal. Uh, it definitely felt great. I'm just excited to get that achievement and ready to go. <laughs> now, you say ready to go. It seems like y'all ready for what, May 13th is y'all graduation? Uh, the 20th. The 20th, May 20th. Okay. And it's going to be here. And uh, had they told y'all any special rules or anything that? Probably limited seating. Okay. But at the football field? Yes, sir. As long as it doesn't rain. Okay. Well, we hope Galore is willing. Y'all had to go through a pandemic class. We hope he'll shine the sun on May 20th over there at the football field at Brighton High School. But these are the two guys that will be giving a speech, mask on, mask off, who knows, but hey, y'all are here today, and, and we want to congratulate you from the Millington Star, and best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. It's Thomas Seller Jr. back again with our graduation special for the class of 2021, and as you see, we're at Mumford High School. We had the top three right in front of us. We're going to start off with our valedictorian, Miss Rebecca. How does it feel to, first I'll get the achievement, and um, graduation's coming up. How does that feel? Um, it feels like it's really snuck up on me, like these years of education went really fast because everyone says it goes fast, but it really did. Right. Well, some people say it takes a long time like Christmas, like Noel. Hey, speaking of Noel, right there in the middle there, yes, I just punned your name. You did. Uh, salutatorian. <laughs> how does it feel <laughs> to make that achievement and how does it feel that graduation is coming up? It's just so exciting. It's such a great time of our lives and I know we'll remember this forever, especially in the year of COVID. Wow, and y'all, you know, battle for one and two, but y'all were in a good chase. I did it again, I'm sorry. Our historian <laughs> Chase over there. <laughs> uh, sorry, I punned your name too. Uh, how does it feel to be the historian? And you get to get up on stage and um, sum up this last four years. I do, and it is an honor to be with these two ladies and be in this group of the top three and the top ten, being able to speak about the history of this year. It'll be a challenge with everything we've been through, but I feel like I'm up to the task. Now, I'm going to throw out a couple questions to y'all. Um, graduation will be a little bit different this year. It's May 21st, if I'm not mistaken. So the class of 2021 20, gets to graduate on 21 of May. Um, give us some details on that night. Um, I know they've been telling y'all some things. What's going on? Well, that's going to be our more traditional graduation ceremony, which we're all really grateful to have, especially since the last year, everything was just scrambled. like they didn't get the traditional night, so we're really excited about that. And then we also have our drive-through one, but the May 21st is gonna be the traditional one. All right, so, so uh, which one y'all prefer? Um, the parade style or the traditional walking in with your classmates? I'll be going to both, absolutely, but I'm, I was able to go to my cousin's graduation last year and it was the drive-through. I feel like it was it was a unique spin on the graduation experience. It wasn't as long, so that was that was <laughs> nice. But I feel like I'm more excited for the traditional graduation, the formal classic fits, and I feel like it'll be something to end out the year on a more traditional and classic note. And Ms. Noel, I'll throw the last question to you. Uh, Chase kind of mentioned something about not having to be so long. Well, y'all can dictate that with y'all's speeches, but uh, what is your speech going to focus on and what advice are you going to give to the class of 2021? I think I'll focus on keep persevering through all of the troubles that we've gone through and keep going. Life always will get better and everything will turn out right in the end. Well, it's Bright Futures head for this trio here. We got Chase heading off to the University of Memphis. And our two young ladies are getting ready to head to the great old state of Alabama, one to North Alabama, our valedictorian, and uh, some school down in Tuscaloosa where they rolled the tide for our young lady there in the middle. 
as a Tennessee Vol fan speaking behind this camera. <laughs> but we wish y'all best of luck and we thank y'all for taking time and congratulations on y'all achievements. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thomas Ellis Jr. here again, and we're on the campus of Tipton Rosemark Academy today with our valedictory and salutatory Noah Rowland and Mr. Davis Cox. Congratulations, gentlemen, and uh, how does it feel to reach that, those achievements of valedictory and Noah? Uh, it definitely feels great knowing that all my high school work came to this and just to be able to be recognized for that. And, and Davis, salutatory, is, you know, it's not shabby. How do you feel reaching that achievement? Pretty good. I'm glad that um, all my hard work in schools paid off. Now, hard work in school and the last year has just been hard for everybody across our world and this nation, but what was going on here on campus at Tipton Rosemark when, you know, our global pandemic hit, y'all had to go through all these changes. How has life been up here on campus? Um, well, the online school, once it hit, we, st we just went fully online. Um, it was required. Uh, we had to be there every day and just going through the schedule. Um, everything turned online and it kind of got hard being online. Davis, how you feel about the adjustments you had to make? Yeah, so it was interesting to uh, be online and then also to come back and deal with the changing protocols as time went on. Well, I know one consistent thing about Tipton Rosemark Academy, it's, it's a spiritual-based school and a lot of faith. How has y'all faith gotten y'all through this, this tough time? But to reach this achievement, how, how has faith got you through? Uh, it definitely helps just to be able to rely on God. Just whenever I'm feeling down or whenever anything hard happens, just remember that God's got me. He has a plan for me. And uh, despite everything that has happened, no matter what, God's always there. Davis, your feelings on that? Yeah, I agree with all of that. And that my faith community has been very supportive through this and have been people that I can talk to about what's going on in the world. Well, gentlemen, May 15th, that's correct. That's a big day for y'all graduation. Y'all yes, get to be showcased on the stage. It's going to be at First Baptist, correct? Yes, sir. And we'll have more details on the time and everything when it's coming up. How you feel about graduation being right around the corner? It's kind of sad, but I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I agree. It's very bittersweet. I'm excited to not be in the grind of school, but also I'm going to miss a lot of the people I know here. Well, gentlemen, as we wrap up here, I let the people know. Our valedictorian, he's heading out to Rhodes very prestigious school and our salutatory is heading down to Georgia Tech, one of the top engineering schools in the world. So the future holds a lot for you two young men. We appreciate you taking a moment with the Millington Star and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. It's Thomas Ellis Jr. back again and we're wrapping up at Millington Central High School with this dynamic duo here, Luis and Dalton, our valedictory and salutatory respectively for the class of 2021 here at MCHS. Um, gentlemen, how does that feel to, to hear that and to know that you reached that achievement? It's pretty great. It's that simple. Well, I'm sure it wasn't simple for y'all to reach these achievements today, uh, Luis. Valedictory, man, how does that sound? How does that feel? It's pretty all right. I mean, I'm just ready for what's coming, you know? And we've got to look forward to what's next. The world doesn't stop spinning. Well, you're getting ready to head out to Chicago, Northwestern. And what you going to major in up there? Biomedical engineering, good sir. Okay, you're going you gonna to have another tough time ahead, are you? And our friend here with the uniform on, uh, something tells me that you're going to be heading off to the Army by May 18th, is that correct? Indeed. So what are you looking forward to most on um, getting ready to go to basic training, sir? Uh, I think it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be fun. It's going to be hard, but I mean, obviously a little, a little challenge never hurt anybody. You're ready for the hazing. Ready for the hazing. <laughs> well, um, Dalton, you come from a military family, so how does it feel to be able to, you know, to carry on that tradition and pay homage to your dad, your grandfather, and those great men in your family? It's great. I'm very happy that I can carry on that torch. Yeah, and Luis, man, you, we shared your story in the Millington Star. Um, a young man from Mexico, and mom and dad, you know, brilliant learners and scholars, and they pass those genetics on to you. How does it feel to, you know, honor them by the, reaching this achievement? Uh, I'm very proud of my achievement, uh, although I cannot hang on to it for too long because there's bigger fish in the in the pond, in the lake, in the ocean. There's just bigger fish. Um, uh, I'm just very honored and very, very thankful for my parents' sacrifices and uh, the opportunity to be here today, standing with you, Mr. Sellers. Oh, well, I, well, I appreciate you uh, saying that. And uh, speaking of standing together, y'all two best friends, anybody inside those doors know this duo right here 
and it's fitting that y'all are the one and two and get to share that stage on May 13th at, at the football stadium. Hopefully, no weather, no rain, and everything. What are y'all looking forward to most about sharing the stage on graduation night? I'm looking forward to Dalton's speech. I'm looking forward to his speech. It's, uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be moving, to say the least. It's going to be stirring commotion. Okay. Stirring commotion. Okay. Bringing emotion. Bringing emotion. <laughs> that rhymes. Yep. Um, uh, yes, people out there, they will have separate speeches. They won't be sharing the podium at the same time. I know that's <laughs> what you're thinking right now. But to wrap up things, let's give us a little details. It's May 13th, correct? What time does it kick off? Is it 7 or 5? It's in the afternoon. It's in the evening. <laughs> okay, okay um, I will get that information to share with you at the end of this video <laughs> and everything. And then one last question, will it be a combined graduation? Will they have it separate like they did last year? They're going to have it combined. Yes, okay. sir. One mass graduation. Uh, the senior class pushed for it, and thankfully this administration was able to comply. Not comply. Uh, help us out. Help us out with our demands. Well, for those who... Meet us in the middle. For those who have a ticket that night, May 13th, you come look out there on the field and see what they got cooking up for us and how they're going to have the kids keep them safe in the middle of... We are still in a pandemic, but y'all have survived that to get across this achievement and reach that stage. And congratulations, gentlemen. We look forward to seeing y'all out there. Yes, sir. Take now, Dr. Dr. Compton, I'm glad that you this stayed with us throughout this whole video. We just saw valedictorians, salutatorians, but my goddaughter, Talia Chalmers, who I've had the pleasure of working with the last few years, you know, shooting a lot of our videos. And that's what she's doing right now. <laughs> she always talked highly of you. I know you were her administrator at EA Herald. Mm -hmm. And later you became the principal for five years at this school. You all, and every time I come and talk to you, you always talk about the kids and how they're the most important thing, but what y'all learn from them. Talk about this class of 2021. This, these kids had to go through a pandemic. They had to adjust to last year's crazy changes, but those life lessons that y'all taught them and still in mm -hmm. them, even when they had to come to the discipline office, mm -hmm. got them through it. Talk about what y'all mean to communities. Well, our, these students do, I think they will be well prepared for adulthood because they, they endured a lot of uh, things in their elementary years and their middle school years but through high school I mean surviving a pandemic and thriving because of it um, these students are well prepared for for graduation and beyond and I uh, can't wait to see what they become Man, well I think we're in good hands as a nation and as a world because these kids got a life lesson that the class of 99 didn't get, I don't want you telling your class. <laughs> no, we might be I won't do that. So. <laughs> yeah, yes, ma'am, but the class of 99, we didn't get, and so I think we're in good hands. Uh -huh. So it's our honor at the Millington Star to salute Tipton Rosemark Academy, Mumford High School, Brighton High School, and our hometown school, Millington Central High School, and those kids of the class of 2021. Yes, I have one that's dear to my heart, my goddaughter, mm -hmm. who I just watched grow and develop over the, these last few years. And I know that these kids have a lot of potential. If we invest in them, They'll go out and do great things. So Absolutely. people like this have laid a foundation for us in the everyday world to help. So we support our teachers. Thank y'all for all y'all do. And hey, best of luck to the class of 2021 out there in the future. The real world is coming right now. <laughs>